Hi everyone, I'm Jada Hutspeth with this edition of Inspection Central. As you may know, Fulton County's Environmental Health Division is charged with protecting and assuring the health and wellness of people in the county through enforcement of all environmental health regulations. Today, as always, we will take a look at some restaurant inspection scores. But we'll begin with the effort underway to keep you and your family safe from the West Nile virus. This time of year, mosquitoes make their annual attack. And with those carrying the West Nile virus, that could mean danger for anyone who is bitten. Lynn Vaughn explains how Fulton County is working hard to combat the threat. You swat and slap them, but mosquitoes just keep biting. So to help, environmental health services is larviciding. Once you, like I said, once you put this in the water uh, and, it, and it dissolves, it, it, it works immediately. It's gonna kill the mosquito growth right then. You won't see mosquitoes in the area. Larviciding is a tried and true means of preventing mosquito infestation that's approved by the Environmental Protection Agency. The pellets are put in stagnant water to kill the mosquitoes' eggs. Well, we do this a couple of times out of the year, mostly during the warm months. When it starts to get warm, that's when mosquitoes have a tendency to come out and try and breathe. Environmental Health Services records each location where the pellets are used so they don't over-treat a particular area. This time, they focused on Welcome All Park in South Fulton, where storm drains are just feet away from basketball players and kids in the park. You want to definitely rid the area of mosquitoes because with the West Nile virus, it affects a lot of the elderly people and the young, the young infants. And being in an area like this here at a park, you're definitely gonna get elderly people and people bringing their kids out. So you wanna you know, make it as safe as them as possible. If you're worried about mosquito infestation, make sure there's no stagnant water around your home. Mosquitoes can breed in as little as the amount of water that fits in a bottle cap. Reporting for FGTV, I'm Lynn Vaughn. If you have questions about the West Nile virus, or want to report an area that you believe could be susceptible to attracting mosquitoes, call 404-613-1303 or visit this website. In addition to mosquito control and West Nile virus issues, Fulton Health Inspectors also receive complaints about the solid waste concerns. Through its community sanitation program, environmental health staffers provide enforcement of the County Code of Ordinances and Code of Resolutions. Inspectors not only address solid waste problems, they also resolve issues involving rodent control, vacant lots, and airborne nuisances. To check out the solid waste permits and procedures, visit this website. When we come back, a reminder about the rules for those of you who are planning outdoor events this summer. Stay with us. Welcome back. As the largest county in the state, Fulton routinely plays host to special events. From arts festivals to outdoor concerts, organizers must first secure the proper permits. Any public event that attracts 50 people or more and lasts two hours or more is considered a special event. Like the huge Tomorrow World Weekend event in South Fulton, these events must have adequate provisions for sewage disposal and drinking water. If non-prepackaged food is served at the event, permits are required. Now there are some events that are exempt from securing permits. You can download the Special Events Organizer Information Packet on the Environmental Health page of the county's website. Along with the big special events in the county come big crowds, many from out of town who stay in county hotels. Inspectors license and permit more than 130 tourist accommodations throughout Fulton County. The routine inspections ensure that the establishments are maintained and in a clean and sanitary manner and in accordance with state law. Many of the accommodations are considered extended stay facilities, 
and inspectors must make sure that the properties are code compliant. Each facility is required to receive an unannounced inspection at least twice annually. When we come back, a look at recent restaurant inspection scores. Stay with us. Now to what many of you search for, the moment you enter an eating establishment, those restaurant inspection scores. Fulton County's Environmental Health Team is trained to conduct risk-based inspections based on the latest Food and Drug Administration guideline. The reason? To minimize foodborne related illnesses. So here's a look at some of the scores taken during a recent visit by health inspectors. You can see the full list online. Go to this website and click on Restaurant Inspection Scores. If you need to report a concern about a county restaurant, you can call 404-613-1301. That wraps up this edition of Inspection Central. I'm Jada Hutspeth. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.